god, this is like a demon fairy. Good lord, that is too much. <laughs> that is too much. Why are all these TikTok art challenge characters turning out like demons? Okay guys, so you know I've been lurking on TikTok for a little bit and I actually came across some interesting looking art challenges that I think would be fun for us to do today. I mean, of course, it's not gonna be too serious because it's TikTok, uh, but <laughs> it might be interesting. All right, so let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Here is a, a TikTok with an art challenge. No see after you challenge. The gender is the opposite of your own. Hair is short if you have siblings and long if you don't. Unnatural hair color if you own a cat. Natural hair color if you own a dog. And both if you have both. If you don't have pets, go with your favorite color. Eyes are your favorite color. And clothes match your phone case. Good luck. I don't know about you guys, but my phone case is clear. <laughs> this video is gonna get demonetized. So this is pretty interesting. You get a bunch of prompts and you base your character off of those prompts. And I think for all you art babies out there who are like, you, you might be stuck, you don't really know what to draw, uh, you're feeling a bit of art block. This stuff is perfect because it just, it gets you started and it's fun, okay? And today, we're gonna have fun. All right, before we go any further, guys, I also wanna mention today's video sponsor, Schoolism. Schoolism is a subscription service for artists, which comes with weekly live webinars and over 50 plus fully designed courses with artists like Ian McKaig. Ian has worked on movies like Iron Man, Avengers Endgame, Star Wars, and Harry Potter. Ian McKaig's drawing workout demonstrates some of the artistic workouts he uses to sharpen his skills and his imagination. If you guys are interested in checking this out, use the promo code SAMDOESARTS for $50 off of your annual subscription. Offer expires April 15th, 2022. Shout out to Schoolism, now let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so let's do this thing. Let's see what absolute abominations we can come up with today in this video uh, following these TikTok art prompts. <laughs> okay, anyways. Hair is short if you have siblings and long if you don't. Hair is short if you have siblings, but long if you don't. So I think I'm gonna go with short hair on this one. Let's just consider my dog my sibling, mostly because I don't really wanna draw long hair right now. Boom, short hair. How you guys like that hairstyle? The eyeballs always trip me up. Usually I don't get the eyes looking in the right direction the first time around. And in this case, I don't know, man. She don't, she don't look right. God, I don't. <laughs> Ugh. And of course, we gotta add in the nose holes, just like that. I'm just playing, guys. We're not gonna do this. Isn't it nice that we have undo <coughs> traditional artists? <coughs> Isn't it nice? Okay, there we go. This is the rest of her body. Very rough, very sketchy because I don't want to spend like five hours on this thing. Here's a tip. You guys always want to flip your canvas horizontally to make sure that things look right in both orientations. If you're doing traditional art, you can hold up your portrait or whatever in a mirror to see it reflected because this way challenges your brain to think a little bit differently. All right, guys, there we go. There is our sketch. Female, short hair. What's next? Unnatural hair color if you want a cat. Natural hair color if you want a dog. I do want a dog, so we're gonna go with a natural hair color. That's nice brown. <laughs> Looks like my morning poop. And you know what, while we're at it, let's add in the skin color too. Okay, very nice, let's go. What's next? What's next, TikTok, huh? What's next? If you don't have pets, go with your favorite color. If you don't have pets, you can just use your favorite color? This is kind of discriminatory towards the people with pets, isn't it? Eyes are your favorite color. Oh God, I, my favorite color is red. So you're gonna have red eyes? And here I thought this piece was gonna turn out to be nice and wholesome and <laughs> good Lord, that is too much. That is too much. We gotta work this in somehow. Maybe I should have just lied and said my favorite color was like brown or something. Look at her. God, this is, oh. And clothes match your phone case. That was the last prompt. So let's do some, some refinement first and then we can get to the clothing. Uh, Cause I know you guys wanna see that. You thirsty individuals. So here I am just adding in a little bit of shading so that, you know, the piece looks at least three dimensional so that it doesn't confuse all of your, uh, your little wrinkly baby brains. And I'm gonna show you guys this part. We're gonna add the highlights to the eyeballs. We all love this, the most satisfying thing. All right, there we go. There's some quick basic rendering. Now we gotta add in the clothing, which is gonna be the color of my phone case, which is uh, clear with a bit of white. Well, guys, you know what's the first thing I'm gonna do here? There we go. If you were expecting anything else on this family-friendly channel, please seek help. So the white is gonna be for the white band on the back of the phone case. And we're gonna add another little white band right there. And then time for the fun part. We're gonna do a, a like a clear, I guess, jacket or, or cardigan or something. Light glaze, very light glaze. Oh, look at that. It's starting to look clear, almost, kind of. 
Not really. <laughs> I guess we can do a little bit of reflections on this thing. Oh yeah, okay, that's looking pretty clear to me. Now we can add a bit of basic shading to the body. So there we go, there's our first piece based off of a TikTok art challenge. I mean, if I were just sitting down, I don't think I would have drawn a character with red eyes and a clear cardigan. <laughs> so you know what? This is kind of cool. This pushes you out of your comfort zone. Let's do another one. Make the skin color your favorite color. Skin color my favorite color. So this one's gonna have to be red, a red character. That's it, wow. That's gonna be something else. Let's do a profile view this time. All right, there, there we go, there's our sketch. Oh God, that's too much. Let's give her skin a nice gradient here. Why are all these TikTok art challenge characters turning out like demons? There we go, all right, there's red for the skin. And what's next? The eye color, the color of your birthstone. The color of your birthstone, I think mine is uh, a diamond because I was born in April so we're gonna go with like a shiny white she's gonna look so demonic if her iris is gonna be white should we make the rest of her eye like black or something there's a good amount of contrast there I think let's do that try to make the eye look really reflective how do we do that I don't know that's you know what that's good enough all right okay I'm not gonna lie guys this is looking Kind of cool, to my surprise. The hair color should be the color of your shirt. The hair color is the color of your shirt. Well, it just so happens that I, I wore Peppa today. So this is gonna be a blend of white, I guess a little bit of teal, a bit of pink. Pink for Peppa. So let's do a white first. Let's lay down the white. I love white hair. I think it just looks so cool. It's like such a Japanese, uh, you know, anime looking thing. It's like all weeby. <laughs> You know what guys, now that I'm seeing this, it's kind of reminding me of Ross's OC, Nima. With the white hair and the red skin, you guys see what I'm talking about? Sorry Ross, she's my OC now. What you gonna do, huh? This is actually looking kind of cool. Are we finding good ideas on TikTok? I need to add in a little bit of teal, but I really like the color of the white hair. So I think I'm gonna add it in as like a bit of, you know, like an accent color. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, what's next, TikTok? What's next? Tell me what to do. If you wear glasses at a third eye or like just another set of eyes. Well, I'm glad I don't wear glasses. Favorite animal has horns, add horns. Now, I don't think my favorite animal has horns. Uh, I don't even know what my favorite animal is, to be honest with you guys. Should we just add horns anyways? <laughs> Sounds like she wants us to add horns. Let's just, let's add some horns. I feel like it would be fitting for this character because she's already looking like, you know, a little bit mm, demonic. I'm gonna make them cool looking horns. We're gonna do like the little dragon horns. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That looks kind of cool. Okay, now that we've added some horns, uh, What's next? If you wear earrings, add those. Earrings, okay, let's do one that hangs down a little bit. Let's do a second one that hangs down a little bit. Maybe let's do a third one that hangs down a little bit. I don't wanna get demonetized, so let's let's give her some clothing. <laughs> so for the clothing, I think I'm just gonna follow the color scheme that we've laid out here, which is like a black transitioning to red that you can see on the horns, and I think it matches pretty well. Let's give her some decoration. Uh, under the eyes. There we go guys. So there's our second piece for our TikTok art challenge. I'm actually liking how this is turning out to my surprise. I didn't have high hopes going into this challenge to be honest with you guys. <laughs> All right, what do you guys say we do another one? Let's do another one. I got another one here. Let's go. Skin color. Skin color, the color of your shirt. The color of your shirt. Oh, uh. all right. Let's just go through all the prompts and see uh, what kind of a character we want to make. The eye color, your favorite color. Eye color is red again. The hair color, the color of your favorite flower. If you have a family car or you own a car, give your fairy large wings. I have a car, so we're gonna have if to you give don't, her wings. Then just give them small wings. If you have long hair, give your fairy accessories. If you have siblings, give your fairy a wand. If you have a pet, put details in the fairy skin and could be an injury or a birthmark. Oh, and if you happen to be an artist, draw your fairy. All right, guys, let's draw a fairy. Skin color is the color of your shirt. So we're gonna have to make her real pasty. Jesus Christ. She needs some vitamin D. You know what, let's just add in a little bit of quick shading here. Now, since the color of my shirt is a mix of pink, red, and teal, we're gonna have to include these colors onto the skin as well. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pink and the red as like an accent color uh, for the local color on the skin. You know, like the usual, a little bit of a, a blush, a little bit of warm tones on the tips of the ears. Oops. And then I think I'm gonna use that tealish kind of color as a, a bit of a highlight on the skin. So it's almost gonna look like reflected light. All right, cool. So now I wanna bump up the saturation a little bit. The eye color, your favorite color. The eye color is your favorite color. So I'm gonna have to go with a red. God, this is like a demon fairy. You know what, that's fine, that's okay. We'll just roll with it. A little highlight 
on the eyeball right there. All right, tell me what's next, TikTok. Tell me what's next. The hair color, the color of your favorite flower. Now, this is the one that got me a little bit stumped because I, I don't think I have a favorite flower. I just don't have a lot of interactions with flowers, period, because uh, no one ever gives me flowers. <laughs> so you know what? Let's just go with roses. Let's just go with a red. Look at that. That's pretty cool. If you have a family car or you own a car, give your fairy large wings. Wings, right, wings. I think I'm gonna color the wings white. And of course, we gotta give the wings a little bit of basic rendering. So let's just define the feathers a little bit. If you have long hair, give your fairy accessories. I don't have long hair. If you have siblings, give your fairy a wand. I don't have siblings. If you have a pet, put details in the fairy's skin. It could be an injury or a birthmark. I do have a pet, so we will do that. But first, to keep this family friendly, we will give her clothes. Maybe we could do a little bit of red accenting on the skin because we gotta do a bit of detailing according to the TikTok. So maybe we could do some some cool looking some cool looking patterns. I'm literally just scribbling. <laughs> so there we go, guys. There is our third character based on TikTok art challenge prompts. It's turned out pretty good. Honestly, I don't think I would have come up with this if I were just sitting at my desk and you know thinking of something to draw. I don't. Without the prompts, I probably wouldn't have put all these elements together, but uh, somehow TikTok made me do this. Maybe we should keep these characters around. Let me know what we should name the characters. Comments. Comments go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This is a fun process. And for those of you little babies out there who are feeling art block, you don't really know what to draw, you're not really having fun with your drawings, do something like this. You know, just don't put too much pressure on yourself to make a masterpiece every single time you sit down to draw. Sometimes it's okay to have a little bit of fun. That's the most important thing with art. You gotta make sure you're having fun. You gotta make sure you're trying things that you haven't tried before. And this was definitely a pretty cool experience for me. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Why are all these characters like slightly demonic looking though? Oh my back. Mm. Oh, my body ain't what it used to be. <laughs> oh, my knees. Oh. Oh. Okay, now that this video is over, why don't you take out your tablet, take out your pen, and draw something, okay? Do, do something. Make something of yourself. Get your life together. Please, click gather yourself. Stop.